All right, when you get in your car, it says change engine oil soon. And you don't have 40 bucks to go by and get somebody to change your oil. Well, you can do it yourself. It's not that difficult. I'm I'm 68 years old and with heart problems and kidney problems, so let's just I'll just show you. It's just it's not hard to do. It's an Impala, little 2006 Chevy Impala. So let's uh let's see what the first thing you do is. First thing you do is find out what kind of oil you need. 5W30 and what size engine you got and uh 3500 v6 you don't really even need well you need to know that to get the uh filter but you got some oil and filter all right i got an ac delco filter uh for mine is a pf 61e it's a 2006 impala uh with the little v6 and uh got this it's like six or seven bucks and i got this uh high mileage blend synthetic blend 5w30 and I, I use it don't matter to me which brand you get whether it's valvoline or, or uh pins or whatever i get the one that's on sale that's the right uh viscosity and uh whether it, i like synthetic some sort synthetic full synthetic or synthetic blend but uh i get the one that's on sale and this one was on sale for like i want to say 17 or 18 dollars so 18 maybe 24 bucks uh at the most and you i can change my own oil and you can change your own oil just get, get what's on sale. It doesn't have to be. It's, not, it's clean oil is better than no clean oil. Clean filter is better than an old filter. So change it and you get a lot of miles out of your car. Anyway, start with there. Let's go under and see if we can't get us a, uh, get the uh, filter and all off. All right, before I go underneath the car, I try to remember this. I get the filter, get a little bit of oil on the end of my finger, and rub it on the filter. Just rub it on that rubber gasket. It doesn't hurt you to get a little oil on your finger. Now then, that gasket, when it seats up against the engine, it won't roll up and leak. It'll seat like it's supposed to. All right, now then, you carry carry this underneath the car with you. You don't have to come out and do it. You don't have to crawl back up out, out from under the car. Now I've I've kind of built this a little place here with some hay dye blocks where we can drive up on, and then just put a tarp through there where we can crawl up under there. That's what I did. All right. So I'm going to set this down here next to the oil drain. And these, in case the filter doesn't want to come loose, we'll make it loose. And it's uh, supposed to be a 13 millimeter. So I'm going to throw them under there. Throw my rag under there. And now I gotta get down and crawl under there. If you can get down and up and down, you can change oil. Alright. Let's get under there. Alright. Crawling up under the car. And if you'll see. <coughs> this is your engine. And that's your transmission. There is the drain plug for the engine. Easy to get to. And there is the filter. 
easy to get to. So it, it's really an easy job. Now, unless that filter won't come out of there, then it's not such an easy job. But let's pull that drain plug and get the get the oil out of it first with my hand, just to break it loose. That didn't work. I got it on there pretty tight. Once you broke it loose. Now then, this, there's a trick to this to keep, I don't know how long the bolt is, but to keep from getting it all over your hand, you want to unscrew while you're pushing in on the drain plug. Pushing in on it. All right, now it's it's past the drain. See it? So now you can pull it, just pull it back and get your hand out of the way. And you don't get any oil on your hand. Just a pretty neat little trick. Now I'll wait for it to drain and then we'll get that filter out of there. Ain't a whole lot left there, but I'm going to go ahead and move my bucket over and reach up in there and undo that oil filter. When you do that, it's going to start dripping. Just let it drip and get as much of that off of there as you can. So it don't drip all over your hand. I got this glove on. You get some of it, but I don't want to get the gloves soaking wet either. So yeah, it's just a matter of waiting for wait a couple of minutes. You want to reach up in there if you can. And right around that edge there, you want to kind of make sure that there's no You want to make sure there's no junk around that edge Kind of clean that off where that where it'll seat Good and it doesn't matter if it's got a little oil on it. It's gonna have a little oil and then get your new filter put it up in there and just spin it on when you get it to where it seats onto the engine that's where it stops you want to turn it another quarter to a half turn and no more maybe a half and that seats it good and it's not too much to where you don't want to put it too tight to where you can't get it off next time all right I'm gonna tighten these bolts up just to maybe try to stop a little of that oil leak out of here but that's how you do it now we got to put our plug back in don't like using gloves now then I don't like using gloves but they do come in handy at times all right let's grab the wrench tighten it up when it gets get snug then you want to tighten it a lot I do I over tend to over tighten one but mine tend not to leak. So. All right, that's all you have to do underneath. Change your filter and drain your, drain your oil. That's not too hard. All right, let's get back out. One quick note on these little things here. And this usually happens, but when you try to take it off, the whole thing comes out. 
and you don't really need the whole thing to come out. So what it is, grab this, there you go, now you got the deal out and you can put this back inside the engine. So you can put your oil down in it. See down there? Drop this down in here. There it is. Screw it back down into that into that hole. This is is what's supposed to come out when you take this off. Sometimes this comes out. If it does, don't panic. Just put it back in there. Take separate the two. All right. Now. Uh, this thing shows four, uh, four quarts. So I'm, I'm not sure, uh, if that's four quarts with or without the filter. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add about three and a half quarts and then start checking it. When it gets close to, when it gets full, then, uh, you can stop adding oil, crank it up, and uh, and your always wipe your your funnels out before you use them, because anything can get in there and, and get a a nest in there. But what I usually like to do is this is five quarts right here, so. I'm going to put about three and a half, four quarts in it. And here on the, on the side, can you see that? Sorry about that. Here on the side, it tells you how many quarts you've already used. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So got about two and a half quarts left. So put a little more in there. Let's see. Where's it at now? About right there. So about two quarts. All right. We're going to just stop there. We know we got at least three and a half, three to three and a half quarts. Stop there. We can get that out of there for now. And another tip that I didn't do is loosen this before you undo your drain plug and it drains quicker if it's got a little air coming from up here. Now what we want to do is check the oil. Wipe everything off. All the way down, and then check the oil. And you can't hardly see it because it's real clear, but it's all the way. You see that? It's all the way up at the top here. So, but it ain't into the filter yet. So once the filter fills up, it'll probably go down just a little bit, and then we'll top it off. All right. So what I'm going to do is start it up, drive it around to the front yard uh, onto a level ground, let it set for a few minutes, then check the oil and top it off. And that, my friends, is how you change the oil in a 2006 uh, Chevy Empower. 
There's one other thing that you want to do is start it up, check for leaks. So, yeah, start it up. Come around, get back on here and look. All in there, make sure there ain't nothing screaming out or dripping out or dripping out. And it all looks good. I don't see no leaks. All right, now you can take off, drive to the front. All right, got it up here on level ground. And I've got about a quarter and a half left in the uh, in the jug. So we'll wipe it off good. Realistically, you need to let it sit here for 20, 30 minutes, and then check it. And it looks like it's right there. That's with the filter full. So it's about a quarter of a quart. Shy. So, that comes out just about every time on this one, and I don't know why. I'm going to put it back in there. And we're going to put about another... Another half a quart, and I did not think to bring the the funnel. But if you turn these things sideways, and then get it over real close to it, and then kind of turn it that direction, then you can pour it in there pretty easy. You can't if it's full. I'm gonna pour about. Half a quart, maybe. Let me take a look. All right, topped it off with a, another quarter of a quart, and it is dead on the full mark. That's what we're looking for. Not that hard to do. Cost about twenty-two bucks, and I don't know what they're charging now, but it's got to be more than 22 bucks and it's not that difficult to do so uh, that's it 2006 uh, Chevy Impala you can do it too I guess that's it for now